Hello, I'm Mona, and welcome to my garden. This is a karukia. You may not have heard of it, but I happen to be the proud national collection holder of this plant, which is largely unknown and undervalued. This is another new introduction of a karukia, and in my view, one of the very best, as it's compact, turns a beautiful bronze in the winter, has these dainty pointy leaves, and is the perfect alternative to box. And as box has been decimated by the caterpillar, this is the plant for you now. I've developed a particular passion for two colours. The bluey-grey of this lovely Ozotumnus from New Zealand contrasts and complements this Physocarpus Diablo beautifully. These represent the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine. And this is the theme that runs throughout the garden. This steel panel, designed by Jay Cockrell, which was my brainchild, represents in the two colours the weathering steel and the bluey gray colors of the plant prevalent in the rest of the garden. It's taken me 20 years to build this garden. I started off mainly with Mediterranean plants and then the scope broadened and now we have plants from all over the world, mainly New Zealand and Australia. The hard landscaping plays a great role, like this fountain, the cotton steel panel and the sculptures and the granite wall. This sculpture is the creation of my great friend, Stephen Buckley, who is also responsible for building this 40 meter granite wall. As you can see, I have my very own Michelangelo at my disposal. And this masterpiece is by Ed Elliott, which he created out of red cedar. One of my prized plants, Lophomertus catherine, another stunner from New Zealand. Plants can also be turned into sculpture. This bamboo I've turned into a wedding cake. I created this gentle slope in order to plant plants that like it very free draining. And in order to do that, I brought in three tons of soil. This is the situation for the whole garden. In order to plant these free draining plants and stop them being waterlogged, 300 tons of material needed to be brought in from the top of the road, down the alleyway on the side by wheelbarrow over the last 20 years. This is my Corokia hedge. Each plant is a different variety. They're both similar and different. And in time, after pruning, they will create a wavy Japanese cloud pruned hedge. This is my haven and my time where I can do what everybody these days calls mindfulness. While I'm here, I don't think about anything else. The pruning is my favorite job in the garden because that's my opportunity to sculpt plants. This garden was a labor of love, which has taken me 20 years. And it's taken a lot of material, a lot of sweat, blood and tears in order to give these plants what they required to thrive.